fears that she may have to leave her job because of her views. Um, Dr. David Nicholl has, has given us a shout out this morning. He's a consultant neurologist from Worcestershire. Hi, David. What, uh, what, do, you, what do you think of this story? Uh, well, I'm 10 minutes away from going to have my second vaccination. <laughs> Traffic here is outside the vaccination centre. So you're, I mean, you're a doctor then, and you're, you're happy to have yours. So do you think that this GP is uh, is being a bit foolish? Uh, yes. Um, but I mean, I've actually given quite a lot of thought to mandatory vaccination. And, and my views have lightened a bit in the last week. So, you know, there isn't much for having mandatory vaccination. But it actually plays into the kind of conspiracy theorists, you know, like Toby Young. Um, and, you know, it's all big state conspiracy. So you end up shooting yourselves in the boots. So, um, you know, I, I think... It just doesn't work unless, you know, and, and even the employment lawyers would say this, you would have to, uh, you know, do it for contracts for new employees, but existing staff, it just gets too complicated. It, but basically, for God's sake, just get vaccinated and ignore people like Robert Jones. Yeah, so that one, this is this is this is it, isn't it? I, mean, this is, I was thinking exactly this. I mean, you can't really compel someone to do this as part of their of, of their employment conditions because it would just end up in court, wouldn't it? And it'd be fought all the way. And as yeah. you said, that as you said, then the, more, the kind of the more big state pressure there is, it do, it does play into this whole conspiracy theory thing. But I mean, in terms of, you know, what, surely though, when you, you you're in this position as a healthcare provider, you are putting yourself at risk, aren't you? You you are, and you know. If, if we want to get, and I've done a lot of work on hospital-acquired COVID, if you want to reduce the risk of hospital-acquired COVID, if you want to protect yourself, your family and your patients, the best thing to do is get vaccinated. Yeah. No, that's, that's it, isn't it? And, and, you, and you're off to get your second one. So, uh, uh, and, and how has it been? Oh, I've, got, I've got to ask you, I think I know the answer, but how have you been since the first one? Uh, well, well, I don't know if you heard the story, the president of Brazil says that there was a risk of turning into a uh, crocodile. So maybe I've become a bit more snappy. <laughs> I've not, I've not heard that. Did he actually say that? Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>